You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for our Black and White Sports 2. Let's talk about Tom Brady because he has come out and made some comments involving this Mike Evans situation. Of course, Mike Evans has now been suspended for his altercation. Really and truly defending Brady against Marshawn Lattimore during that Saints-Buccaneers game. My God, I can't wait for them to play again. These two teams absolutely hate each other with a passion, and I'm here for it. I mean, look, that makes football a lot more interesting. I'm not even going to act like it doesn't. That was great. Um, when you watch those replays, and of course, I was watching the game when it happened, uh, I love the fact that, number one, Brady will get in everybody's face. But I have to admit, I love the quality that Mike Evans was like, oh, hell no, you're not picking on my dad. Boom, <laughs> and he charges. I mean, the, the the coming to the defense of the GOAT like that in that way, it just shows you. These guys, don't kid yourself, these NFL players in the league have a monstrous amount of respect for Tom Brady. And you could just, I mean, as soon as you realize somebody was going to give Tom Brady lip, no, Mike Evans was not having it. That's my quarterback. That's my quarterback. And he ran in there and boom, nailed, nailed Marshawn Lattimore. Now he's out for a game. And uh, we know, I, I look, this may be just the thing the Bucks needed. This may be just the thing because we know that Tom Brady, he loves to play with a chip on his shoulder. He loves to find something during the season that pisses him off, that drives him. And maybe this is sort of the thing that kind of woke him up, gets him out of the fog of the Giselle drama, and gets him focused on the season we saw him destroy a Another tablet died by the hands of Tom Brady. Let's look at this. Because he's pissed, he calls it ridiculous that Mike Evans was suspended. This is Dave Hookstead, David Hookstead of OutKick. Tom Brady doesn't think the NFL should have suspended Mike Evans for his role in the Sunday Brawl against the Saints. I don't know that it was all that. You know, there's history there, and I think in a way he was suspended because of some history. All hell broke loose during the Saints-Bucks game, and Mike Evans absolutely rocked Marshawn Lattimore. In response, the league slapped Evans with a one-game suspension. Now the seven-time Super Bowl champion is opening about his opening about his loyalty. His top receiver showed him when things got tough. Quote, I love Mike, and the fact that Mike would come out here to defend me, it means everything in the world to me as a teammate and a friend, and Mike knows how I feel about him. So in the end, emotions are part of sports. Sometimes they boil over, and they obviously did yesterday. Brady said on his Let's Go podcast when discussing the situation, Tom Brady also touched on Mike Ed Evans getting hit with a suspension and added, quote, it's an unfortunate circumstance. I don't think it deserved any type of suspension. I think that's ridiculous. You know, hopefully, we can move past it and get to a better place. You know, in the end, I appreciate Mike Having my back, I know he'll learn from it. He knows that we all have his back. Evans went to bat for Tom Brady when people were started chirping, and now it will cost him a game and some money. However, in the long run, having Brady, knowing you have his back, is probably the most valuable thing you can have as a member of the Bucks. Judging from Brady's comments and Mike Evans' actions, he knows the star receiver will defend him if it comes to that. I have no doubt that Brady will repay the favor, and reward his loyalty. Let's just look at something right fast. Uh, let's just look at, at Mike, Evan, Mike Evans' stats. Let's see where he where he ranks right now in his career as uh, far as stats go. Oh, good hell. Good hell, folks. Mike Evans is, is, Mike Evans is headed down the road of the Hall of Fame. Without a doubt, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight consecutive 1,000 yard seasons. One, two, three, four, five, six seasons of eight touchdowns or more. He's 29 years old, 9,433 yards, and 76 touchdowns already. And, and 
and he's a Super Bowl champ and a four-time uh, Pro Bowler. My God. My God. You know, I watched him a lot. I'm in Texas, so I remember him playing, and he was a man among boys at Texas A&M, an absolute beast. This is one. This is look. This has long been a sneaky good rivalry, but it ratcheted up a notch the other day on so many levels. Devin White going after ex teammate Jameis Winston over the fact that they thought they had a good team the year he threw thirty interceptions. And basically come out and said, look, Jameis wrecked that season for us. I mean, again, I love that kind of honesty. You don't hear it. (laughs) Um, And now we can't wait to see them play again. I can't wait for this, you know. Uh, In a perfect world, somehow, some way, we get another game between these two. And then the Saints and the Bucks would both make the playoffs. And they would play again in the playoffs and you can bet your ass it get real ugly in that game. You know, this is this is what football kind of used to be until Roger Goodell sort of pansied it down and put a bunch of panties on everybody and, and was like, hey, you got to blah, blah, blah. Back in the day, teams hated each other. They weren't going out for fucking soy lattes after games like they do now. They weren't. I mean, some of these old school guys still can't be in a room with each other. They hate each other that much. I shit you not. Tell me what you think, Black and White Sports 2 supporters. Make sure you hit subscribe. This channel is growing quite a bit. Quite a bit this thing's growing. Um, Man, the goal is to have two massive sports channels mirroring each other back and forth. Um, Content. Similar, but not quite the same, so you're always getting different stuff in both places. Also, make sure you check us out on podcasts. We never mentioned that. Um, So if you get busy, can't watch videos, all of our episodes, the audio goes up on podcast. Peace. I'm out wherever good podcasts are available. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.